and welcome to another video by Jim the Car Guy. Today we're going to show you how to, uh, to diagnose a charging system problem. Uh, this one is actually it's a pretty clean cut problem because when the, uh, when the vehicle is started and it's running, the alternator light the, or the battery light on the dashboard remains lit. Um, so on your particular car it may say generator, it may say alternator, it may say battery, whatever it is, I'm going to show you how to diagnose it so you do the repair one time and you don't do it a second time for, uh, for nothing. So, all right, first thing you're going to do is you're going to come over and you're going to check everything with the battery. Now, this particular vehicle, you can see the battery is actually, it's, it's pretty corroded. We are going to clean this up before we, uh, before we let this job go. Um, but I'm going to show you how to test it now. So, uh, the, the way I would do it is you can do it two ways. You can do it with a, uh, with a multimeter to check the output on the alternator, or you're going to do it the way that I'm going to do it here, and it's going to be with a, uh, with a tester like this, which is meant to diagnose the charging system. All right, so uh, let me show you how to do it with, uh, with the one I use first, and then I'm going to show you how you can do it with just a regular multimeter to find out what the problem is. All right, so first thing we're going to do First thing we do is you connect up your uh, your uh, your meter to the uh, to the battery as uh, negative and positive. Make sure you have a good connection. Now with this particular one, you can actually we're going to do an in-vehicle test. You just press this. We're going to use the cold cranking amps. Now this battery, I already looked at it, is actually rated at 850, what they call CCA, cold cranking amps. So we're going to test the battery first. Alright, so it has a surface charge. The battery is good. It's a little bit weak, but that's normal because the, uh, the alternator was not charging. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a start a draw test, and then we're going to go ahead and do a, uh, an alternator test. So we're going to press this. Now we're going to start the engine. And I'll see if you can see this. It's going to be a little noisy, just so you know. And 
Now we're going to hit the uh, enter after revving and it's analyzing the data. Now it says charging system normal, 14.50, and diode ripple is normal. So now it's charging. We're going to let this run for a couple of minutes because that's the issue. After it runs for a couple of minutes, it starts to, uh, the light lights up on the dashboard. So we're going to let this run for a couple of minutes and then we're going to continue. Connect our machine again. And we're going to do the exact same test that we just previously did. We're going to set the ratings for 850. It says uh, surface charge, but it has to be re, uh, recharged. We're going to test the starter now. Let's start the engine. system now. And now it's asking, is it a diesel? Yes or no? No, it's not a diesel. Analyzing data. Charging system problem. No charging voltage. 11.89, and it's not charging at all. Now, the way you can test it with your, uh, with a multimeter, You can put your multimeter on it and you can actually check the charging system to see what's going on. And right now, as you can see, it's 11.83 volts. So we know that that alternate is not charging at all. All right, so let me just show you a couple of things you have to test before you can make sure that the alternator is absolutely no good. First thing you want to check is you want to make sure that on the uh, that all your electrical connectors here are in good condition. As you can see, there is a little corrosion on here, but nothing significant. Same thing on this side over here. We are gonna clean these before we do anything further, but even as you can see right now, looking at the headlights, you can see how dim they are, and you can see how slow the windshield wipers are going on the truck, see how slow they're going. So we know that there is an issue there. Now, Underneath here, and I'm going to show you now with the uh, with the truck running. What one one very important thing that you need to check. This. I'm going to take this off. So let me take this off, and uh, we'll come right back. Okay, I know it's a little noisy, but I just want to point this out to you. If you're in here and the engine is running, and you're going to check in the back by the alternator in here, make sure you don't get your fingers or your test light caught in that fan belt, because you don't want to have a chance on losing any kind of digits or, uh, or uh, causing further damage, all right? So be careful with if you're working on it with the engine running, be extremely careful.
Okay, now being that this condition is actually intermittent here, we're going to make sure that we check for all of these leads in here to make sure that there's no damage to these electrical leads in here. I can see the positive is actually a little bit oxidized. It looks like it's green inside there. But, uh, you know, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that when we take it apart. All right, so now we're going to change the alternator. All right, as always, thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, send me an email. I'll be more than happy to talk to anybody about anything. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.